So, you want to know what studs or masculine women like, huh? <laughs> Look, this right here is the video for you because we're going to talk about it. <laughs> What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China. I will party coming to you live. We are about to talk about what studs or masculine presenting women tend to like. I want to get right into this. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Let me know down below. And if you want to follow me on my IG page, go ahead and do that. Show some love. Send me a message. I'll get back to you. I love the support. All right. Let's get right into this. All right. Let me go ahead and throw out the disclaimer. Not all studs or all masculine women like the same thing. I'll let you know that now. But I can say for myself and for the majority of masculine women or studs I've encountered, they tend to like the opposite of them. And what is the opposite? Feminine. Very, very feminine. <laughs> all right, all right. When I said very, very feminine, that was a little bit more personal. That's for me. I love a feminine woman. Feminine, what does that mean? I'm gonna say the girl that likes to get her nails done, get her hair done, pretty face, you know? Got a little switch with a walk. Just the opposite of me, not masculine. That's what a feminine woman is to me. Now, there are different types of feminine, you know? There are some feminine women that do not care to get their nails done, which is okay. I don't mind dating a girl that doesn't get her nails done. And, well, they gotta get their hair done. <laughs> they gotta do something about the hair. Don't, don't look at me and say, oh, what about me? Because I'm not feminine. I just do simple stuff with my hair. I do twists, put my hair up. But the girls that I tend to date, they like to straighten their hair. They like to go to the salon, get it all done, get it all pretty, get it all styled up. So I love that about a woman, a feminine woman. Off of that, other things that we tend to like are women that can cook. I do know that I love a woman that can throw down. I mean, throw down because I can cook a little something. I can cook to survive. You know, I can cook some baked chicken. I got the beans and rice when I'm trying to be on my little fit, fit journey or whatever. But I love a woman that can cook and my girl, she can cook. I'll stand up for it. She can cook, okay? So that really is something attractive to me. So what else do we like? We tend to like women that are comfortable in their skin. They're happy with who they are, you know, confident. That's what I, I definitely love a confident woman. One that can be a little versatile, not always feminine to the point that she feels like she can't even hop on the court with me a little bit, shoot around with me. Like she'll try, she's willing to try, but she still got that little feminine shot or whatever, you know what I mean? Put the little leg out and stuff. I like that. It's just, it's very attractive to me. I love the femininity. I love a woman that's just willing to do other things, try other things, be adventurous as well. So I do believe that's what most masculine women or studs tend to like, you know, mostly the opposite of us. But remember, I did say not all studs like feminine women. I actually know that there are masculine women that like masculine women. You know, stud on stud is a thing. It's not the majority, I will say. I think that it is the minority. And I'm gonna say it right now, there's nothing wrong with that. I believe that is okay. If that's somebody's cup of tea, that's somebody's cup of tea. It's all right, because I do tend to see some people in our community that tend to look at stud on stud as a weird thing. Us being masculine is non-traditional. Stud on stud is non-traditional. Who are we to judge? So it's all good in my book. Do what makes you happy, you know what I mean? Other than that, we definitely like somebody that's supportive, somebody that can communicate, you know, the, the basics. I mean, we all need the love, the affection. You know, I love affection from, from my girl. Sometimes I'm not the most affectionate. Being a little bit more masculine the way I was brought up, I don't show much emotion. So I do like seeing that out of my, my partner, my girl. Those are things that are very important to me. And I do believe that most masculine women or studs would agree with most of the things that I said are important to us. Now, everybody's not the same, as I mentioned before. So just know that the stud that you may be attracted to, the masculine woman that you may be attracted to, she might not like what I just said that I like. Just get to know that person. Don't be shy. We are welcoming, you know, we welcome the love. That's pretty much what a stud or a masculine woman tends to like, all right? I hope you guys found this valuable. I hope you found it entertaining. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if I didn't answer some of your questions, go ahead and let me know down below. And if you want to follow me on my IG page, show me some love, send me a message, let me know you support the channel. I'll get back to you. I promise you that, all right? And until next time, I hope you guys stay safe, take care. I'm Ahu Party, and I'm out.